Welcome everybody. So back in uh, April of 2012, uh, Twitch stopped working in the PS3 browser. Uh, let me demonstrate that. Uh, let's start up the uh, browser. Um, and I found a channel that uh, broadcasts um, some PS3 footage. So Carastor. Let's just look at this channel. Um, and all you get now is a um, a coloured square where the uh, video player should be. Just allow the page to fully load there. Well, it, yeah, it doesn't change from that. Um, so um, some time ago, some guy asked me whether I could see if I could um, get the videos working again. And I didn't get uh, I didn't get anywhere, um, but just recently another guy asked me, and um, I've had a fresh look at it, and uh, I've had some luck. Um, you're not going to be able to watch the live streams, but what you will be able to do is watch the uh, past broadcast videos. So let me give you a demonstration of that. Uh, so let's come down here. Um, now to to get um, smooth playback. Uh, what you need to do is turn off JavaScript uh, before you click the video link, um, which can also be um, in the search results, you know, on Google or Bing uh, or whatever. So uh, to turn off JavaScript, you just press triangle, cursor to tools, cursor right, cursor down to JavaScript and select off. And then you click on the, uh, the video link. Unlike in uh, YouTube, um, don't bother using um, a separate window because you don't want to like um, stretch the browser at all uh, for the best playback. Okay, um, so now you just turn uh, JavaScript back on. So tools, JavaScript on. And then uh, select the PlayStation 3 bookmarklet from your bookmarks list. Uh, check my other videos on how to set that up or the um, I'll of course leave a link in the description for the, uh, the bookmarklet page and uh, let's pause that um, so like on uh, YouTube um, to be able to quickly switch to full screen including with the PS3 remote um, you just need to press down on the, the D-pad once the video starts playing um, and then press X or enter because uh, I position a dummy link over the um, over the full screen button there of the player um, so let me start the playback and let me do that again the like there the it take, may take a, a couple of seconds for the uh, the video playback to settle down but um, as you can see that's now looking good so let's pause that so I just clicked it um, now let me talk you through a few other things here um, the past broadcast uh, videos on Twitch are quite often broken down into like half an hour chunks so what I have to do is on the fly um, create a playlist that combines all those chunks into one uh, seamless video. Um, the only disadvantage of that is that that means you can't jump very easily to a specific point within the video. Um, and you can tell it's a playlist because if you look in the bottom left hand corner of the player there you've got your, your play and your stop buttons but you've also got the um, the playlist you know previous next uh, buttons. Um, so if I click that next button that would load the the next half an hour chunk of this uh, video. Um, now I, I also carry over from YouTube the um, the ability to fast forward um, a video using the PS3 remote um, which you may find quite handy on Twitch because uh, quite often I've noticed the streams start off with like a, a loading uh, page uh, before the stream proper light like, gets going. Uh, so let me demonstrate that. If I press the fast forward button on my remote, you 
you can see that's now low jumping to that point in the uh, video uh, let's pause that again um, and you can only do that for the uh, the video uh, that's been streamed and uh, that's the, the if you look at the bottom middle of the player there uh, that's the darker grey that's the amount that's been streamed of the video uh, to the left of that the black is your current position in the video um, and if you're ever uh, you can get a situation where the buffering is too slow and it doesn't actually get ahead of your current play position in that case um, you may get really sort of jerky uh, playback um, so what you can do there is just pause the uh, the video and allow it to buffer um, a sufficient amount um, one other thing to mention is when the JW player um, loads in uh, the next chunk of the video automatically um, it may take a little while for it, uh, the video to settle down again, you know, because it's having to uh, pull more video down from Twitter, um, Twitch's uh, server. Um, so uh, I hope you, uh, I hope you like this, and um, please uh, let me know any issues you have in the the comments for the video. Um, such as um, I found uh, one channel where um, the the, the uh, PlayStation just crashes. You, you load the the page um, without uh, JavaScript on, and uh, every single time the PlayStation crashes. Um, so please let me know if you come across any other channels where that happens, uh, because there's probably something I can do. Um, to work around that issue. Um, so, uh, bye, bye for now.